Hello and welcome to this training video brought to you by Core Group. In this video, I'll be talking to you about the WMS service uh, background in Trimble Access. Okay, so the background map with WMS for your e that don't know what a WMS is, it's a web map service. So it's a live stream of a map uh, in behind your survey data. Before you can use the WMS, there's a couple of nodes that you have to uh, he too, so the controller must be connected uh, to the internet, uh, be it by a SIM card or a hotspot or Wi-Fi. You must uh, know the URL to use your uh, WMS service. Okay, so if you do have a login, uh, a login name or a password, yeah, you will be able to get your URL that actually has that uh, user login credentials within it. Uh, some map services also require a parameter to the URL. So uh, you can see, for example, here I've just uh, an example URL, uh, example correct WMS dot IE uh, WMS. So you might just require just a, a URL address. The job must uh, be the same coordinate system and zone uh, as you've selected for the WMS. So if you require the code for whatever quarter system you require, just go into the epsg.io, the website, and they will uh, have a code uh, associated to the coordinate system that you're using. Okay, before we start off, um, there's also um, a lot of videos and content within our YouTube channel. It's uh, Coric Training and Support, and feel free to uh, browse to our website at coricgroup.com so for all the latest um, technology and products okay so let's begin so we're in our Trimble Access uh, main map display so this is the TDC 600 display in landscape mode so it's the same um, process in each logger to go into your WMS uh, to create uh, your URLs in there okay so once you're in your main uh, map display, you can go into your layers button. So it's like the two sheets here. You click on that. And down at the very bottom of your screen here, you have WMS. You can see that I have two already here. So if I go into my WMS, you'll see that I have a name, one called Coric, a URL, coordinate system, and then just your base layers and your transparency. But if I drop down one here, You'll see what a standard just a URL works like, and then the coordinate system, uh, coordinate system code that it generates the EPSG from our previous website in the start of the video. So you just put in your available URL, your associated coordinate system, and once you're happy there, you accept and the map will load. So if you go accept there, and you have whatever WMS you require, you just tick the box, you hit accept and then the imagery will load once you have your project set up with the same coordinate system. So if I go back in there just to show you what it looks like when you go into WMS, if I untick that and just go into WMS and just say I'm going to start a new one, it'll ask you for the name so I can call it Coric2. I go in there, I copy my URL, so www.coricgroup.com and then what you do is you go in and you dial up. So if I hit enter there, it'll actually start dialing up to the internet to check that the URL is right. So this won't work because it's not a WMS service. I'll pick my coordinate system and then I hit accept. Okay, once that's done then, um, if I escape out of this bit, it'll bring me back. It'll create all the, de the details in here. I just hit accept, pick which one I want and then hit accept and that's how you create and activate your WMS within Trimble Access. Okay, thanks.